What style coats and jackets are trending this year? Which ones do you need to invest in? Are there certain coats and jackets that I must have for fall and winter? If you've had any of these thoughts, then you're not alone. Navigating this expansive selection of coats and jackets can be exhausting, but I've got a few to show you today that will keep you looking stylish this spring, fall, and winter. My name is Tanya Stevens, the face behind 50 is not old, and I want to welcome you to my channel. My mission is to help women feel better about themselves, and I use fashion and beauty as my tools. My goal is to have you remember that age is an attitude, and you should keep your young. So be sure to follow my channel, click on the red bell, so that you never miss a post. Coats and jackets are fall and winter staple for most of us. The weather has already started to get a nip in the air most days, and Jack Frost has actually turned my leaves from green to golden yellow. Before I venture outdoors, I always make sure to wear a coat or at least have one handy in my car. Some factors determine my choices for coats and jackets, though. And if you live in a colder area, you're going to be looking for heavier, more insulated coats. Here in Virginia, I need a wide variety of coats and jackets, since it can be very mild one day and below freezing the next. But some people might only need a, not a lightweight coat or jacket to get them through the winter. So take your climate into consideration. Another factor to consider is your lifestyle. Do you go to work every day? Are you in need of a dressy coat? Or is casual more your style? What about the type of materials? What do you prefer on your coats and jackets? So coats and jackets come in a wide variety of styles and materials. You have cotton, wool, leather, suede, faux, or blends, and that's just naming a few fabrics. You also have to think about the style of coat or jacket you want. There's bomber jackets, motorcycle jackets, or we call them moto jackets, cargo, utility, puffers, denims, jackets, vests. There's just a wide variety for you to choose from this fall and winter, so pick, pick what works for you. They also come in a wide range of styles and blends. I'll choose a long cashmere or a wool coat for a dressier occasion, but shorter coats are my choice for most casual days. So these coats and jackets are, I'm going to be showing them in all kinds of styles and materials, and they can all be found at Nordstrom. I'll link to those below. The Nordstrom brand is my usually my go-to for searching for clothing because they're well-made, they're affordable, and there's a lot of popular styles, so I'm always sure to find something I need there. But I'm going to start with puffer vests. Puffer vests are worn and they let your arms move around free. This is great if you're walking outdoors or working on a project. So the coat I'm going to, or the jacket vest I'm going to show you first is a Zella recycled polyester puffer vest and it contains at least 50% sustainably sourced materials. And that's only one of the reasons I like this vest. Look at the metallic lining. That's what grabbed my attention but it's a style I love the most. This puffer has a removable belt, so you can remove the belt if you don't like it, or you can leave it belted if that's what you prefer. I usually remove it so I can leave the vest open. The curved hem is also a great feature, and this covers your bottom, so that hem goes way past my hips, and I don't have to worry about bending over if I'm out in public. The puffer vest does have a drawstring hood, that you can cinch for a tighter fit if you need to. When it's cold and windy, that's what I do. This puffer runs big, so if you're going to do it, make sure to size down. And I'm going to tell you the sizes I'm wearing in all of these so you can know. And I'm wearing a medium, and it's too big for me. This plaid puffer vest has its own unique detail. It's reversible. Clothing that can be worn in multiple ways saves you money. It extends your wardrobe. 
plaid is always a huge trend in fall. And this black and white plaid puffer, it's a classic combination and it can be worn for years. When you flip the vest to the black side, you can see still the plaid pattern peeking through, so that's super cute. The plaid and the hood gives the puffer vest some visual interest. Plus, it draws the attention to your face. This puffer is also long enough to cover your backside, so wearing leggings won't be an issue. But I do think the earlier Zella puffer was a little more puffed. And that one, but this one will still keep you plenty warm. You will have two looks with this one for the price of one, since you can go plaid or black. I'm wearing medium in this reversible plaid puffer, and it fits better, more true to size than the Zella solid black one I had. So I think normal ordering your normal size will work fine for this one. Next is the utility jacket. Olive green is a color that I've never worn before. And for some reason this year, I can't get enough of it. This camo utility jacket is a perfect lightweight jacket for fall. Most of the time, utility jackets are stiff, but this one's soft and comfortable. And I like that. That was just a pleasant surprise when I took it out of the packaging. It has a drawstring waist that helps to cinch in the waist. And that's more feminine. It's a, it looks more feminine when you have it on. So you can leave it loose if you want. I prefer the oversized look, but I like it when the I like it when my clothing helps to create a waist. The camo utility jacket is long enough to wear with leggings, but it would also look great with jeans. And I'm wearing medium in this one also. I think it fits me nicely. But if I wanted a heavy sweater for winter, I might size up one size. So it's up to you how you want to order it. Now that moto jacket we talked about. I love this because the minute you put on a moto jacket, you age backwards by 10 years. It doesn't matter if it's leather, faux, suede, whatever. It's great. I even wore this jacket last Saturday night on my date night with my husband, and he might have salivated just a little bit when I walked by. <laughs> so you can see that this jacket is not as long as the two vests. So it's up to you whether you want to wear this with leggings or not, but it won't be covering your behind completely. However, it looks fabulous with jeans, and since I wore it on my date night, I think my husband would agree. The hardware on this jacket is heavy, it's sturdy, and the leather is soft and so supple. And the removable hoodie makes it great to wear all kinds of stuff. I mean, you can swear it any way. I am wearing a large within this jacket, and I think it fits great. And there's also a plus size available if you would like to see that. If you're like me, you probably think of black leather only when you hear moto jackets. However, look at this cute plaid moto jacket. It is so unique. The colors are fabulous for fall. The plaid moto jacket combines edginess, polish, it looks classic, and it's all rolled into one. I'm wearing a medium in this jacket, and I do think it fits perfectly. Now let's move on to the bomber jacket. This quilted bomber jacket is perfect for ladies on the go. It keeps you warm, and it's made from 100% recycled polyester. I do like sustainable fabrics. This is such a cute and sporty jacket for running errands or anything. You'll find yourself reaching for this jacket all the time. It has a slant pocket, it has a draw string, um, a draw cord toggle waist, and that ensures a really good fit. I love the color of this jacket, but they called it gray on the website, and I'm not sure that's the best description for it. But either way, I love this color. I think it's more like a tote, tote mob. I'm not sure. The quilted bomber jacket is about the same length as the leather motor jacket. And as I said, it's the aisle feel length for jeans, but you may not be comfortable if you're wearing it with leggings. I'm wearing a medium, as I said before, and I think the jacket does run true to size. What about a faux leather moto vest? So this is a crocodile embossed moto vest, and I think it's fun, cool, and edgy. If you like the edginess of a moto jacket, 
then you, but you find those that feel heavy, then you're gonna love this mix. In the fall, a heavy moto jacket can be too warm. This vest, however, would be a great alternative. The puffer design would keep you warm, and the cropped and bossed in setup is oh so chic. This cross crock embossed, say that three times really fast. <laughs> this crock embossed moto jacket gets me at my hips. So probably not long enough for leggings, but I can't wait to try this on with a pair of jeans. And I might need my husband to get out that motorcycle and take me for a ride. I'm wearing a medium and I think it fits me great. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, give me a thumbs up. That will keep the algorithm gods happy and it will show my video to more ladies just like yourself who can feel more confident in their styles. Be sure to follow me and I hope to see you next week.